Here's an example of finding the length of an arc cut by a central angle of 150 degrees whose radius is 15 centimeters. So if I label the information, this side will become 15 centimeters, both radiuses are, and the central angle here from here to here is 150 degrees. Now the formula that's going to work for us is S equals theta r, or r theta, it really doesn't matter. But we have to be really careful here. Theta has to be measured in radians. So we're going to have to first convert 150 degrees into radian measure. So a little work on the side. I'll do it down here. We're going to have to take 150 degrees and do a unit conversion. So we're going to multiply by 180 degrees in the bottom and pi radians in the top. Uh, so this becomes 15 over 18. Uh, 3 goes into both of them, so we're going to get, well actually 30 goes into both of them. We're going to get 5 over uh, 6, so 5 pi over 6 will be the measure of theta. Alright, so we'll come back up here plug in what we know. So we're going to get s is equal to uh, 5 pi over 6 for theta and the radius is 15 centimeters. And this is where it comes in handy that theta in radians is uh, unitless. When we do this multiplication all we're going to end up with is the measurement in centimeters which corresponds to you know the arc length. This little arc length here being cut. So the length of this blue badly drawn line is going to be approximately, if we convert this to decimals, 39.3 and the measurement of course is centimeters. Alright, and we can do the same type of thing finding um, the area of a sector of a circle that is formed by a central angle of 75 degrees and a circle whose radius is 5 feet. Um, in this case we're going to have to kind of develop a formula for it. So I'm going to call it a sect and it's going to be a ratio of um, how much is cut out of the circle. So if I just call this angle theta, which eventually we're going to convert 75 degrees into radians, it would be theta radians out of the whole rotation, which would be 2 pi, would be the ratio of the circle we're talking about. And then the area of an entire circle based on you know the radius of r is going to be pi r squared. So if we simplify this, we're going to get the area of our sector is equal to, well the pi's are going to cancel out and we're going to be left with theta r squared over 2. So that gives us a nice little formula to work with. But again, theta has to be measured in radians. So I'm going to convert 75 degrees into radians. So 75 degrees over 1, uh, we want the degrees in the bottom, we want the radians in the top, uh, 75 divided by 180 as a fraction is 5 twelfths, so this will be 5 pi over 12 is going to be our measure of theta. Alright, and then use this formula to plug into, and we're going to have the area of our sector is going to equal theta, which is 5 pi over 12, times our radius squared, well our radius is 5 feet so it'll be 5 squared, 25, all divided by 2. Or I can do, you know, one half times all this mess. It would probably be a little bit easier. Um, oop, I don't want equals. Approximately, the area of this sector is going to equal 16.4 and up here, this was 5 centimeters, so down here it's going to be centimeters square. And again, it comes in handy that radians have no unit whatsoever to them. And that would be the area of just this little sector here, out of the whole circle. That's it.